Good morning, world. Good morning. So, the Olympics are right around the corner. You psyched? I'm fired up. I like the Summer Olympics. Uh, my wife, huge gymnastics fan because she did gymnastics, and so my daughter. Um, I like to watch the, the sprints. I was in track. I like to watch the swimming. What about you? What's your favorite event? Uh, track meets, you know, the, the sprints, yeah. primarily. But it looks like our shoe in for the win in the female 100 may be in jeopardy now. To puff, puff, give, or not to puff, puff, give? That is the question. <laughs> I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> So I'm sure you've heard, but now you're going to get our take on Shakari Richardson uh, having being suspended for a month, which is going to cut into her 100 meter, which is her race. Yeah, she's a young young woman, 21 years old. Uh, she's been winning races since she was in high school, and um, she made a mistake. Yeah, I wouldn't say a mistake. She made a decision. Yeah, decision. A poor decision. Yeah, and 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 we and we're going to talk about the rules and why there's these rules and if there should be these rules. But first, l let's hear from should we should hear hear from Shakari yes. first right off. Yeah. Um, and before we hit that, we did an episode on naming your kids, and and this is one of the names that always comes to mind, <laughs> Cedric. <laughs> Shed. It's it's a combination of two names, and we will talk about that on a on another show. <laughs> I part thought maybe Carrie and part Shaqui. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's listen to Shaqui herself. <laughs> and I broke this down. I, I I shortened it. It was from an interview. Okay. I greatly apologize if I let you guys down, and I did. U.S. track sensation Shaqui Richardson is apologizing. According to the United States Anti-Doping Agency, the 21-year-old track and field sprinter tested positive for marijuana following her Olympic qualifying 100-meter race victory. Before we go on, um, can we point out the elephant in the room right here? Which, what elephant do you see? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> at the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon on June 19th. As a result, the USADA announced on Friday that Shakari has accepted a one-month suspension, a penalty she spoke out about on Friday's Today Show. I want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm allowed not to do, and I still made that decision, but um, not making an excuse or looking for any empathy in my case. A few days before her Olympic qualifying trial, she says she learned the news that her mother had died during an interview from a reporter, a moment she calls, quote, triggering and nerve-shocking, and led her to using marijuana as a coping mechanism, which is against the rules in sports, but legal in the state of Oregon. I apologize as much as I'm disappointed. I know that when I submit a track, I don't represent myself. I represent a community that has shown me great support, great love. I'm human we're human when it comes to shakari richardson it's never been a steroid it will never be a steroid attached to the name shakari richardson if you choose to do things um in your personal time or things like that you just should know all right beware of the consequences so it's funny because she says i don't want anybody making excuses for me i'm not making excuses i made a mistake yet the news reel right here was already trying to make excuses yeah. for her i mean I understand, you know, she found out that her, her mother passed away. She yeah. was not using that as an excuse, but the news agency was already trying to make an excuse. Yeah, I don't, and shame on that reporter, because that news should not have come from a reporter. And that's the thing with, yeah. with the, uh, the news media nowadays. They're so worried about being fast and being quick that they're not even concerned about if what they're doing is right or ethical. That The news about her mother's death should have came from a family member and not from the news media. Right. Um, and before we get into the meat of this... Whoever heard, because you know when these people get into the, to, to this big, mm -hmm. you know, she's the fastest woman probably, I think, in the 100 right yes. now. Um, so her handlers, she was going on live TV. They should have had her fix that eyelash right there. Cause the one that was falling off? The one that's like falling off. 
Me and Cedric don't get the whole eyelash thing anymore. I don't either. I don't. And when she's running, obviously, she's not wearing them because I think those would slow you down. But she does have those big, long, if you look here, the big, long finger. Yeah, yeah. I would think that that might get in the way. That was a Flojo thing back in the day. It was. It was yeah, a Flojo. she started that. But I, I, I think they said she can still compete in the 4x100. So yes. Because her suspension will end before they run that. But you would think that that pass the baton... Right, right. That would be a, I, just personally, like if I was a coach, which I'm not, but you would think that, you know, you might want to cut those down so that it doesn't. Well, we'll talk to her about that. <laughs> we'll talk to her about that. But I'm, uh, or am I just being a racist? Is that a racial no, thing? No, I mean, it's fingernails are fingernails. That you're, you can't cultural appropriate nails. I don't know. They've been trying to talk. They're trying to say this whole thing. She made a decision. She lives up to it. But, of course, the people out there are trying to make excuses saying, oh, this is racist because... You know, marijuana use is somehow tied to the black community, which Cedric and I were just talking about it. Growing up, we we thought about, like, the surfer stoner community. Yeah, like like the, the uh, white surfer guy with the long hair, like Spicoli. Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh, yeah. Sean Penn. Yeah. So um, I think Seth, Seth <laughs> yeah, Rogen even. Dude. Seth Rogen even tried to make a racial thing with this tweet right here. Yeah. And, it's, and she is not using that as an excuse. She made the decision, like Cedric said, and there are rules. There are rules. Are the rules wrong? I think maybe they are wrong. It's, I don't think it's an enhancing drug. Should it be changed? Let's talk about that. She knew what she was doing. She's not making any excuses. Yeah, she got some disturbing news. And, I, and we all handle news in different ways, shapes, and form. Uh, she could have gone back to her, her drawing room at the Olympic Village and decided to down a six-pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, she decided to go back to her room and, and, and toke a blunt. Um, like I said, me and Brian aren't here to decide whether that's right or wrong. That now, sounded, me personally, that sounded funny coming from you, Toka Blunt. Whatever. Doesn't, doesn't, sound, it, doesn't sound like a Cedric. Brian thing. wanted me to share this. I have, I have never, I have never smoked weed a day in my life. I am not passing judgment on that. It's just something I decided not to do. I've never gotten a tattoo in my life. It's just certain things I haven't done. But it's not for me to say, well, those things are, those things are right and those things are wrong. But according to Seth, and as I'm going to bring up here. AOC, let's get oh, into that geez. before we get into Cedric's, uh, <laughs> what he does or does not do. Um, AOC, check this out. AOC blames racism after Olympic sprinter Shakari Richardson's suspension for failed marijuana test. So we just said, Cedric has never had done marijuana or smoked a blunt, as he just said. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be some kind of racial thing. Again, we, we think of Spicoli and surfers. And then uh, AOC goes on to say, um, fail, anti, she says, anti-cannabis measures are a colonial policy. She always goes back. You can tell she doesn't have too many brain cells up there because she just goes back to the same speaking points over and over again. And I know this isn't about AOC, but AOC likes to put herself in everything. This young lady... She, Carrie Richardson, she took responsibility. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you let her take the responsibility? She's doing the mature thing, and all of you people are the immature ones trying to make everything about race. Yeah, and like Shakari's saying, she said, this isn't the end of my career. She said, I'm 21 years old. I'll be back. I made a decision. She said, you're not going to hear the um, term steroids associated with my name. And again, that goes back to making a decision. I am making a conscious decision that I will not use steroids. You will see me back here, and I won't do that again. But... Um, Bottom line, we can talk about this, and I don't think she should be punished from a, a uh, what was the standpoint I want to use, but from a logistics standpoint, yes, because she broke a rule. Um, but, you know, I deal with a lot of students in high school, and some of them go off to, to private colleges, and some of them go off to state colleges. Now, for those of you who know anyone who's gone to a private college, they sign what's called a code of conduct. And you, you sign certain things saying that you won't go into, if you're the opposite sex, dorm room after certain hours. Unless uh, you, you identify as a... That's no, this is back when we went to college. Back when we went to college. You weren't allowed to go into the opposite sex of the dorm room. Uh, you weren't allowed, some of camps were called dry camps. This means that you can't partake in alcohol, you can't smoke, you can't do any of that stuff. And we never snuck alcohol. Never did that. You couldn't engage in sexual relations. And if you did any of that, that could be grounds for immediate expulsion. Now, if you go to a state school or a UC school, they turn a blind eye to those things. You have to know where you are because sometimes rules at one place, at the Olympic you know, trials may not be applicable someplace else. And she's she's owning up to that. She goes, I know it was a rule. I broke the rule. Is it a stupid rule? 
Yes, and me and Brian were talking about this earlier when I deal with students, and they back in the day when I was um, a dean of students at a small uh, school, uh, and I'll make this a quick story. A, a young man came into my office because he was out during PE and they were playing hockey on the on the cement, and this one kid who had been bullying him for for months, and finally this young kid got sick of it, and when the guy the bully turned his back, he walked up behind him and socked him in the ear, kind of split his lobe a little bit, is bleeding. And he got sent to my office and he's crying and you know how kids cry, the snot's coming out and he's blubbering and everything. He had to be suspended. And uh, I looked at him, I said, and I'm not gonna use his name, I said, I need you to look at me right now. I said, between me and you, bravo. You did what you had to do. Stood up I, for yourself. I have to uphold the rules of the institution and you have to be suspended. But in these four walls between me and you, you did what you had to do, and I'm not going to hold you a fall for that. I'm glad you did it. Right. But a rule was broken. Yeah. And that's where the rubber meets the road when the, with this story. She, she, broke a, she broke a rule. She knows she did it. Uh, she owns up to it. We move on from here. But I'm tired of the narrative that anything, like you wanted to bring up Phelps. And they're trying to bring that up. Phelps never tested positive for marijuana. He was caught on a, in a picture with a bong. Okay. She tested. They do these random tests for athletes. Just for the black athletes. Yeah. Only for the black athletes. <laughs> right. So she... Wow. I'm just out. <laughs> so she was tested because she was black. <laughs> and she tested positive. And it's just a rule. But we're living in this last year and a half of everything is racialized. Mm -hmm. So if she was a white sprinter... Well, That's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're such a racist, man. Okay. A white if she was runner? a white s swimmer. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and there was, I think, a, there was a white swimmer who tested and he got banned. And I don't know what it was for. But okay. but anyways, it's just because it's a rule. I think, yes, let's change the rules yeah. and make marijuana not an illegal substance when it comes to um, enhancing drugs. Because it doesn't enhance as far as I know, I mean, we're no chemists, but I don't think it's going to increase her speed. No. <laughs> At worst, it's going to make her take a nap right in the middle of the race. So let's maybe remove that substance from the banned substances. But as of now, it's not removed, so she has to just abide by the rules. She made a decision. We all make decisions. We all get depressed. She could have popped a bunch of pills to, to deal with yeah. it. There's a lot of things that she could have done, and some probably... She shouldn't, you know, wouldn't have been good to do. Some it might have been okay. Like you said, if she would have just went and down to six pack or something, then she wouldn't have tested for anything negative. So yeah, you can be drunk, but you can't smoke weed. Yeah, yeah. So that's where we think the rule's silly, and that's just a whole. We can do a whole episode on uh, the legalization of drugs. I think we've touched on that before. Yeah. But um, these people like AOC, when they want to bring up, oh, this is this is a racist thing. It's the libertarians, which we lean very libertarian, that have been pushing for legalization of pot mm -hmm. and those substances anyways, live and let live, as long as you're not harming anybody else. But it's these the swamp, both Republicans and Democrats over the years, that they're endowed to the pharmacy, big pharma, mm -hmm. so you're not gonna be able to self-medicate with stuff you can grow because they wanna have to sell you what you need to self-medicate. Right. So, Let's not get into that AOC and, and all these other people trying to make it a racist thing. All right. And uh, Shakari, I don't know if you're watching this or not. If anybody Shikari. knows you, Shakari, if you're watching this, uh, kudos to you. We applaud you. I uh, wish you could race. If, if yeah. I was on the committee. Yeah, let her run. Because we're Americans. We want America to win. Yeah. And she yeah. is fast. Yeah, you'd fast. <laughs> and I have a very strong feeling that not if, but when you win the 100 meters, that you would stand on the uh, podium proudly and salute your flag and your anthem, unlike other athletes. Uh, go back to our other videos to check that out. Yeah. But um, she, she represents America, and she wa she wanted to be up there to represent me, you, and, and all of America, not just herself. She's not being narcissistic or being an individual. She, she did, knew this she, was a team. She did refer to herself in the third person once, though. Every athlete does that. <laughs> Every athlete does that. <laughs> Every athlete? The vast majority of them do. Yeah. <laughs> You're not an athlete, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> So it's a uh, wow, <laughs> man that hurts deep. That hurts deep. But um, man, it'd be nice if uh, Shakari could run. Um, it, it, it's it's a damn shame. It's a damn, damn shame. shame. But um, she admits to it. She broke a rule. 
she's going to pay the price, and I think we will see her again in the, in the years coming up, uh, winning uh, gold uh, in oh, yeah. future events. Yeah, and hopefully she'll be there for at least the 4x100 to help Team USA win that race. Yeah. And maybe something will happen. We still have, uh, what, a couple weeks left before the yeah. beginning? So maybe maybe some appeals will happen, and, and she'll be able to race. We can, we can hope. I don't think now that transgenders can move, maybe I should just put on... Yeah. I should put on a wig and... and you'll still lose. I'd, I'd, I'd come in last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, you got a comment for us? Uh, oh, yeah, you want me to read it? Yeah. All right. Comments. We got comments. Oh, before we hit the comment, why don't you tell them about the hats? Oh, yes. You guys, um, get our hats uh, right here. CMB10. You get 10% off. And uh, Brian and I, we're, we're really excited. We didn't know where we were going to go with this whole YouTube thing. We are quickly approaching... 10,000 subscribers. Yes. And what does that mean for us personally? As a YouTube channel, we get our own store. We can um, put our own merchandise out there. Yeah, so our merchandise, instead of us having to pimp it on our channel, we can put it right below um, the title on our on the page. Yeah, we're excited about that. That's, that's cool. Yeah, so. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Yeah. All right, so again, we want to we want to really ask that you send some video comments again because we really enjoy those. Mm -hmm. But until then... I knew Brian was going to read this comment. It was from our last uh, Tom McDonald video, Don't Look Down. And we also have to make a decision. Do you want to read a comment that kind of pokes fun at us, which there's many of those, or do you want to read a comment that kind of lifts us up and edifies us a little bit? Brian's going to go with the latter. Right. Because we're going to do another episode, I think, on some more hate comments because we get enough of those that it'll be fun to do <laughs> a quick hate one again. It'll be a two-hour show. <laughs> All right, this is from P. Reed. And I don't know if P, if you're a male or female, um, you know, we're hoping you're a really good looking female. <laughs> I'm not, I'm happily married. Hi, honey. Move on. <laughs> okay, so P. Reed says Of all the reviews I've seen, you two are the best. Probably because you're smart. We got them fooled. <laughs> Some of the other channels are so uneducated. Love the Bible and Icarus Greek mythology references. Like I said, Smart. Thank you, P. Reed. You, you hit the nail you're right on the head. Man, oh man. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that was fun. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, go back last week and take a look at that video when we did a review of Tom McDonald, Don't Look Down. And um, don't want to spend too much time on that, but it's like that's the beauty of art when it comes to books and art and music. Everything is up to interpretation. And uh, you just got two regular guys' interpretation of a song. We're very smart. He's going to... this. <laughs> P. Reed, it, I'm going to hold you responsible for this from here on out. I'm not looking down. <laughs> it's going to be hard to live with from here on out. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And this is the most important thing. Make sure you ring that bell. Because if you don't ring the bell, you don't get notified of future videos coming up. And you said something about there's three different options for ringing the bell? Yeah, there's three different options. So you have to do the one to, for all notifications. Okay, all notifications. So like, subscribe. Ring that bell and share our videos with everyone you know and help us get to 10,000 subscribers very quickly. Yes. Until next time, be good to each other. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later. Oh my goodness. Oh, you, don't your toe, your toe, your toe. Don't, don't curse. Don't say it. Oh, you already said it. Oh, <laughs> oh you said it. Oh, I'm so sorry.